Hello everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to be swatching uh, my very first bottle of Mont Blanc ink. This is Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown. It's exquisite in its packaging and it's got a beautiful warm cinnamon scent. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swatch this and then in addition to swatching this ink, I have a little collection of other brown inks that I think will be quite similar to Cinnamon Brown. And my hope is that in my swatching, you'll see if, you know, if any of these other brown inks would be decent dupes. Um, I paid, now I hope nobody will be gasping, but I did pay $80 for this bottle of ink. I know, it's a lot of money. Um, I actually wasn't even prepared to pay the $80. I was in Hawaii and my husband and I decided to stop by the Mont Blanc store. And to commemorate my first visit to a Mont Blanc store to try out all their wonderful fountain pens, I thought it would be wonderful to get myself a bottle of ink. And of course, it's no surprise to my husband and it shouldn't shock me either that somehow I gravitate to the most expensive item in their line of inks and this is a limited edition ink it's scented um, and i was drawn just because of the color it's a warm brown it looks like it's not too deeply saturated where it's like a brown black i thought that it would be i mean it just reminds me of a lot of the the warm brown inks that i gravitate towards uh and so i thought that i was going to be paying 40 45 dollars for this bottle of ink and then when i was when the, the attendant rang me up, it was $80. And at that point, I didn't want to say no, so I bought it. Um, so anyway, in order to possibly help you in your decision, if you wanna buy a bottle of the Cinnamon Brown ink, um, I wanted to swatch them and compare them to other warm brown inks to see if any of these were in your collection and for you to decide, you know, like, do I want to spend the extra money to buy this or am I happy with what I already have? So I have three, I have six other inks to compare this ink to. Um, this is Platinum mix Mixable Ink in Earth Brown. Beautiful, I love platinum inks. This is Diamine Ancient Copper. Uh, this is like a reddish, orangish brown, which I think is very similar to the color that's on the box of the cinnamon brown. I have Colorverse Smoky Bourbon. This looks like it may not be as reddish or orangish, but um, it would be a nice color to compare it to. I also have a bottle of Vinta inks, and this is in, I try, I always call it Panama, but it's Pamana, P-A-M as in Mary, A and as in Nancy, A, so Pamana. And this is a beautiful warm brown as well. And this one, I think, out of all the other inks here, this is a sheening ink. And then I also have a vial of Robert Oster and Van Ness's exclusive Charred Hickory. And I swatched this uh, recently in uh, my, warm, my Warm Brown Inks video. Last but not least, this is one of the original bot bottles of ink that I purchased. This is Ackerman's um, SBRE Brown. <clears throat> And I bought this because of the bottle. It's really, really fun. There's a little marble here uh, right above that sits right above the bottleneck so that um, when you're running low, you can tip the bottle upside down and somehow it will collect ink in this little chamber. And when you, flirt, when you flip it upright, the marble in, the, in this part will um, like create it as a, will act as a stopper so that all the ink that was collected up here when you had it upside down will remain. So then you can be able to fill your fountain pen um, in and be able to get a good draw of ink. So anyway, so I have these seven inks to swatch. All right, so why don't we get started with Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown. Oh, just a sniff of this ink. I mean, it smells beautiful. It's almost like there's a bit of a, an additional scent in there, almost like a perfume. I could almost wear this as a perfume. It reminds me, it's, it's not overpowering, but it's like a subtle scent of like those cinnamon 
bear gummy the gummy bears uh, it doesn't remind me so much of the um, like cinnamon spice but more like um, those red cinnamon bears if you know what I mean beautiful Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown. Gosh, I love how the Kakimori nibs, I, they've got, I think it's eight capillary slits. Um, it's just such a pleasure to write with because of all the different line variations. And so far it seems like it's a very wet ink. And it's not as orange as I had thought. I thought it would be a little bit more like this color, but it's, I mean, it's still a beautiful brown. Um, I just thought it would be more like this color, maybe more like ancient copper. So we'll see when I swatch ancient copper. So, so far it looks like uh, it isn't a shading or it's not a sheening ink. There's no shimmer. None of these inks are shimmer by the way. And If I look at it right now, I would just say it's just a beautiful, a beautiful medium brown. You know what, since I was talking about ancient copper, why don't we swatch ancient copper now? Actually, I accidentally squirted some water, so I'm just gonna dab that up, dab that. Okay, now this is ancient copper. It's uh, one of my favorite inks. Wow. In the ink swatch, ancient copper kind of takes on this sort of like bloody, like a blood red. It's so vibrant. And especially with the autumn leaves right now turning, um, it's just such a perfect ink for the season. I'm gonna take one of these post-it notes just to protect my hand so my hand oils don't get onto the paper. This is Diamine. Ancient Copper. Beautiful. Now I don't know why, maybe it's the angle um, of the, the angle of the way that I'm holding the pen, but as you can see, it definitely writes a finer line than Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown, and I wonder if it has anything to do with the ink properties. Beautiful. Oops. Oh, it's definitely more red. Now let's do Ackerman SBRE Brown. This is an ink that I bought very early in my fountain pen journey. When I was watching all of SBRE Brown's videos, um, this was an ink that I felt like I had to get. Since the beginning of my journey, um, I, haven't, I haven't inked this ink in a pen. Um, I think it's because I started just learning so much about all the other inks um, that I just haven't inked this pen or inked this ink yet. So. Uh, perhaps I'll do that um, this this month for the month of November. I've only inked one pen so far for the month of November, and that's Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown. Um, but perhaps I might I might ink this up just because I haven't yet since the very beginning. So it's been at least a good six to nine months that I've written anything in in that with this ink. Okay. Beautiful. Really beautiful, okay. What I've noticed too is the stainless steel nib compared to the brass nib, 
seems to draw a more exact, a more precise line. And then the brass nibs, I would say, uh, writes more like a wet fine. This is definitely more on the, kind of on the more, like the fine as in like more of an extra fine line. Uh, and I love the sound that the nib makes when it makes contact with the paper. So already you can just see these three ink, brown inks look really beautiful together. Okay, why don't we do uh, platinum mixable ink in earth brown. I really enjoy this ink. I've only inked it up in fine nibs. Um, I think it would work beautifully in broader nibs because I think it shades beautifully. Ooh, I think this is gonna look very similar. I feel like this ink already looks the most similar to cinnamon brown. Mixable. Uh-oh. Oh, phew. I thought my sleeve had touched the, the brown inks on the right side of the page. Yeah, so some of my favorite inks are made by Platinum, such as Platinum Carbon Black, Platinum Mixable in Earth Brown, and also Platinum Brune Sepia, which was introduced to me by Lorelei. I would even say that Mixable Earth Brown uh, Platinum's ink is a little bit brighter. It's brighter on the page than Cinnamon Brown. How many inks do I have left? Oh, I've got three more inks. Oops. Okay, so I should try to fit I need to make a little bit of space because I have to add an extra ink on the left side of the page. Okay, this next one is Colorverse in Smoky Bourbon. This was also in addition to Robert Oster Charred Hickory. Um, this is also an ink that I had featured in my warm brown inks comparison in a couple of videos ago. I, I really love this color as an ink swatch, but I think um, in inked in a pen, it's a little too light for my taste, but I think it makes an exquisite ink swatch. Very pretty. As you can, sell, as you can tell, it's not as saturated as the other inks. Lovely. So far, color versus smoky brown is not a dupe. It's probably the least similar to cinnamon brown. Gosh, but I do wish that smoky bourbon had a scent to it. Um, I bought this ink primarily because of the name. I was hoping that it would uh, imitate or would be similar to Mont Blanc's uh, single malt. I can't remember the full name. I think it's like James Purdy and Sons single malt uh, ink by Mont Blanc, and that's kind of my holy grail ink. If anybody is planning on um, planning to sell their James Purdy ink, please let me know. I would be so interested to purchase that from you. So let's try Charred Hickory. Now, looking at um, my other page of ink swatches, I, I've inked, I've swatched this ink before, uh, this is very saturated, so it may be the most saturated out of all the inks here. Okay, now I'm gonna have to squeeze in the last two inks on this page. 
I love this ink. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to buy a bottle because I think I have other inks very similar to it. So um, it reminds me a lot of Pilot Hiroshi Zuku Tsukushi. I also have uh, another similar ink, Wearing Oles Architecture Infinite Cube. This is really pretty. Gosh, I also love the name. So cozy. Okay, this is, ooh. Lays down a very wet line here. Charred. Hickory. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, I don't know if I can fit the uh, the last ink here, but look how rich and saturated this ink is. It's so beautiful. I haven't inked this. I haven't inked this ink in a pen yet, so I can't attest to its actual flow in a pen. But whenever I swatch it or whenever I use my dip pen, I I just love this ink so much. It's a gorgeous, deeply saturated warm brown. Um, almost like a darker version of Ancient Copper. Okay, last but not least is Vinta Inks, pa pa Pamana, Pamana. And this is a sheening ink. Oh, wow. So rich. It's beautiful. Very vibrant. And this one is a sheening ink. I would say this is a darker version of mixable earth brown especially when i look at the wet um, at the wet swatch as it's drying it kind of has this like electric quality to it um, and then it starts to dry to a more subdued finish but there's something very vibrant about the wet ink swatch and um, something about pamana is it has a beautiful green sheen when it dries Oh, it's, it's very similar in its saturation as charred hickory. Wow. Oh, look how vibrant that color is. Right now already, you can just see how the colors look together. And I'm wondering from your point of view, which inks look most like Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown? I'm just gonna sniff the Cinnamon Brown. Oh yeah, it has a beautiful, subtle, perfumed um, scent of cinnamon. And I, th I, I don't know if it's just my imagination, but it also has some sort of like perfume scent underneath. So it's very subtle, it's not, like your artificial um, pop of cinnamon brown, like on a scratch and sniff sticker. It's definitely a little bit more subdued, very understated, but it's still there. It's not, it's not like a whisper of a scent. It's, it's a beautiful scent. Um, but for now, as the inks are drying, I can definitely see the sheening as this ink dries, Vinta Inks Pamana. Uh, none of the other inks sheen as so far um, in the writing sample. There's a slight bit of sheening in the cinnamon brown, but I don't think it's known to be a, sh a shimmering ink. Okay, so I will see you in a few. Okay, so some time has passed. A couple of thoughts. Um, I didn't. I didn't expect color versus smoky brown to be so light. It's almost like a peachy color here. Uh, so I'm kind of surprised at how light this color is, but looking at all the inks together, first of all, they do look really beautiful together. As far as the inks that look most like Mont Blanc Cinnamon Brown would have to be a uh, Platinum Mixable Earth Brown and Ackerman's SBRE Brown, but these two inks definitely lean more orange. As you can tell, Cinnamon Brown 
is what I would call like your medium brown, like your, not your standard brown. Um, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, you could see that there is some shading in the writing sample with the Kakimori stainless steel nib. Um, but I, I can safely say that I don't think I have a color like cinnamon brown. If I'm looking at just the writing samples alone, I would say Robert Oster Charred Hickory would come very close to Cinnamon Brown, though Charred Hickory has a little bit of red, kind of like Cinnamon Copper, or Cinnamon Copper, Ancient Copper. But as far as the writing samples go, I think they look very similar. This would have a little bit more of a burgundy undertone, whereas Cinnamon Brown is definitely just what, yeah, like I keep saying standard brown, but it definitely seems like it is the most brown out of all of these inks. I think that's a very subjective thing for me to say, but uh, I'm just very pleased with how they all turned out. Vinta inks, you could see how, how much it sheens. It's definitely a sheening ink and that's beautiful. Uh, I don't think there are any other inks that sheen as much as this one does. Um, there is some, you know, some darker sheening here and here in Charred Hickory, a little bit in Cinnamon Brown, a little bit in Ancient Copper, but you're not gonna notice anything, especially in the writing samples. This is definitely the most unsaturated or desaturated, and the most saturated by far would be Charred Hickory and Pomona. And I mean, Diamond Ancient Copper, compared to these browns, Ancient Copper looks red. Um, really one of my favorites. So anyway, I just hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I hope that seeing all the ink swatches was really helpful in, um, you know, in your journey of figuring out what sorts of brown inks you might enjoy. Um, and I would love to hear from you. You can leave a comment down below. What are some of your favorite inks from this color scheme here? And if you already have a bottle of cinnamon brown, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.